so something happened today and I want to share it. And I would like to know your opinion. But anyway, let's get to it. So I'm in New York City in this village. And I was outside of a very famous pharmacy. And there's always somebody begging for money. And you can tell that they are very high on drugs. Um, if you're a person that has been around the block a little bit, you can tell they're just really asking for money to buy drugs. And I actually have seen them a few times buying drugs right after they make some money. So anyway, uh, I should say a person pretending to be homeless. They're not homeless. They all live around here because there's a lot of public housing. Um, so they're really beggars, not homeless. It's just people that for some reason they don't want to work and um, it's just easier to sit there and ask for money and the shift is very um, flexible so easy money and of course you're gonna make people feel sorry for you and I I was grabbing a bike actually I was grabbing a bike over there so uh, there's a very nice young lady who comes out very well dressed and she's giving a bag of goodies to this homeless person. It seems like he asked her for some stuff. And um, she was like, oh, I didn't get you this, but I got you this other thing. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. And I literally see the guy. She walks away. Well, first he says, God bless you to the girl. And she walks away and the guy starts getting the stuff out of the bag. Very disappointed with what he's looking at. And basically, let's just say these are the chips because it was like chips and yogurt, like the poor thing, the woman. I mean, I don't feel that bad for her, but I'll tell you why. Um, let's just say this, this napkin is um, the chips. So literally the guy, the beggar is not a homeless. He starts like taking the stuff out and like just throwing it in the middle of the road. Um, everything, just throwing the yogurt, the chips candy, whatever she just gave him. And of course he says, God bless you to her face. And she walks out and he starts doing that. And I was like, I have to tell her, I have to tell her what happened. Like, it's just, well, to begin with, the city of New York is pretty dirty already. We don't need more garbage on the floor. That's something else. And also you work hard for you, for your money, I'm sure, or maybe somebody else will enjoy those chips. Like if I get a free pack of chips, I'll eat them. I'm not going to throw them in the garbage. Uh, I'm sorry, not in the garbage. That would have been nice on in the middle of the sidewalk or the street because he was throwing it uh, behind him. So it was all over. It was just a disaster after uh, that woman was so kind to give himself. Um, and I, really love that people have sympathy for others but this is just the wrong channel is you're just channeling you should you might want to give it to somebody who really needs it and really wants it not to somebody that's going to throw it in the middle of the road so i see the woman walking away and i was like you know i'm biking so i'm just gonna give her the knowledge and let her know what happened right after she left maybe she'll think twice next time um because like I say in previous videos, these people are always asking for money just to buy drugs. It's, I've seen it a hundred times and I've seen them always throwing the food away when they give them food. And a few times there were a, a, a few people that they tell them to their face. I'm just, I just need money. I, I don't want food because, you know, it's the social, the SSI check is not that much and of course if you get a job then you're gonna have more money but why work when you can get everything for free so um i i asked this lady i was like are you the woman that just gave the bag to the homeless person she goes yeah and i was like, just to give you the heads up he threw everything out on right on the ground after you gave it to him and instead of her maybe waking up and having an and a moment of saying, you know, wow, look what I just did. Uh, she starts getting defensive and she's like, you're not going to shame me for that. And I was like, well, I'm not trying to shame you. I'm just giving you the heads up of what happened after. Just maybe you will think about it 
next time. And she started giving me attitude, like reactive real value. I was like, well, just giving you the heads up that thanks to you, now the city is even dirtier than before. So thank you. <laughs> uh, and I just figured out, you know, I wasn't really trying to have a, an argument with her. I just wanted to give her knowledge of what happened after. Just wanted to give you the heads up. When you do this, this will happen after. And I don't know, just think about it. It's your hard earned money. Do something better with it. Anyway. Um, after I realized that she was not receptive um, to any information, I just decided to leave. But it was just weird. Um, mostly her reaction, because I would have, I understand I, I have, I have compassion for people and I, I, I love people that have sympathy and can sympathize for others, but just channel it with the right kind of people. This is just not, if you want to help somebody, this is not the people to help because they don't want what you're giving them. It's on the ground. And one thing that New York city doesn't need, or really any city is more garbage on the street. So Maybe she would have been those chips instead of that yogurt. I'll take a yogurt. Stuff is expensive nowadays. <laughs> um, anyway, um, let me know what you think.